Leia here from LeiaFirstSide.com and in this video I will show you how to name alkyl halides. But what is an alkyl halide? An alkyl halide or haloalkane comes from the word alkyl meaning a carbon chain and halide meaning a halogen. Halogen refers to group 7 on the periodic table typically shown as X and represents the atoms fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. The rules for naming alkyl halides are just like the rules for naming organic compounds, where the halogen falls into the prefix category or substituent. To name a halogen in an organic compound, you drop the INE from the ending and add the letter O. For example, for fluorine, you drop the INE, add the letter O, and you get fluoro. For chlorine, you get chloro. For bromine, you get bromo. And for iodine, you get iodo. Let's start with this simple example. We start by identifying and highlighting the parent chain, and then numbering from the side that gives you the lowest number for the halogen. In this case, we number from the right for a total of four carbons, which gives me a first name of but. Only single bonds gives me a last name of ane, and a halogen substituent gives me the prefix of 2-bromo. Putting the name together, I get 2-bromobutane. Now let's look at an example where you have multiple halogens. First I identify and highlight my parent chain. I can choose to number from the right or the left, given that both halogens show up in the middle. I have a total of 3 carbons for a first name of prope, only single bonds gives me a last name of ane. The fact that I have two chlorine atoms showing up on carbon number two, I have to write two comma two to show which carbon both halogens show up at, and then I have to put the prefix di before chloro, again to signify that I have two chlorine atoms. Putting the name together, I get 2,2-dichloropropane. When you have a halogen and a carbon substituent, they have equal priority, and so you number in a way that gives you the total lowest set of numbers. That means both of these examples are numbered from the left, so that for the first one I have a 2-bromo and 3-methyl, but for the second one I have a 2-methyl 3-bromo. The parent chain for both of these examples have a total of 5 carbons and only single bonds, giving me a first name of pent and the last name of ane. In the first example, I have bromine on carbon 2 giving me 2-bromo and methyl on carbon 3 giving me 3-methyl. For the second one, I have methyl on carbon 2 for 2-methyl and bromine on carbon 3 for 3-bromo. Three Putting the name together, the prefixes are arranged in alphabetical order. Regardless of their number, since B comes before M, bromine is going to be named first. That means the first molecule will be 2-bromo-3-methylpentane, and the second molecule will be 3-bromo-2-methylpentane. But what happens when you have both a carbon and a halogen at the same position? In this molecule, I can number from the left getting 2-methyl, or number from the right to get 2-iodo. In this case, you take alphabetical order into account. Since I comes before M, we start numbering from the right so that iodo will come before methyl. Since I have a total of six carbons in my parent chain, I have a first name of hex, having only single bonds gives me ane. Iodine, having the higher alphabetical priority, gives me two iodo. Methyl, having the lower alphabetical priority, gives me five methyl. For a final name of two iodo, five methyl hexane. Now let's look at this example. We have a substituted cyclohexane, so we start numbering from the halogen and go clockwise or counterclockwise since we have no other substituents. Six carbons gives me a first name of hex, the ring gives me a prefix of cyclo, and only single bonds gives me a last name of ane. Fluorine occurs on carbon one, so we would put one fluoro, However, since fluorine is the only substituent, the number one will be self-understood and does not have to be included. Therefore, instead of one fluorocyclohexane, I skip the one and simply call this molecule fluorocyclohexane. Let's try a multi-substituted cyclohexane. I start with my parent chain of six carbons for a first name of hex, 
only single bonds for a last name of ain and a ring for a prefix of cyclo. When it comes to numbering, since I have two halogens on one carbon and one halogen on a second carbon, I start numbering from the carbon that has more things or more substituents coming off of it. I have the option of going clockwise or counterclockwise. However, if I go counterclockwise, my second halogen gets a number 5, but going clockwise, my second halogen gets a 3, and so I have to go clockwise. Since I have multiple halogens, the number 1 cannot be assumed, and so I have to put the number for each. Two chlorines on carbon 1 gives me a 1, 1 dichloro. One iodine on carbon 3 gives me 3 iodo. When putting the name together, we alphabetize based on the halogen, not based on the word di. Since C comes before I, we have 1,1-dichloro-3-iodo-cyclohexane. When a pi bond and a halogen compete for priority, the pi bond is going to get the lower number. In this case, I highlight my parent chain and start numbering from the left since the double bond is higher priority than the chlorine. I have four carbons for a first name of Butte, a pi bond starting at carbon 1 for a last name of 1-ene. Since chlorine occurs at carbon 4, we have 4-chloro. For a final name of 4-chloro-1-butene. Are you struggling with organic chemistry? Are you looking for information to guide you through the course and help you succeed? If so, Download my ebook, 10 Secrets to Acing Organic Chemistry, using the link below, or visit leahforsci.com slash orgo secrets. That's O R G O secrets. For information regarding online tutoring, visit leahforsci.com slash orgo tutor. That's O R G O tutor. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and even share it with a friend or two. If you have any questions regarding this video, leave a comment below or contact me through my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash There will be many related videos posted over the course of the semester, so go ahead and click the subscribe button to ensure that you don't miss out.